Today is February 7th, 2024. You know, I keep playing those tapes. And I know I draw it out and, and to spell it out to the point it sounds stupid. When I tell people who's doing what and what, da 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 da, and what, and some guy was laughing. We listened to her how she's explaining stuff. She don't have to go in such detail. These people act stupid extremely stupid extremely stupid you tell them that they admitted they drugged me and told me to say it they admitted they photoshopped everything made everything up on me and it's just a drug scam okay to get away with human trafficking then they go but they did it she's in trouble why i mean they're like the retards app that's where add this one maintenance man you know what he said? I think the COVID virus damaged people's brains. They told him it was just a group of men doing as many crimes as they can to see if uh, someone actually would stop him. December 9, 21, 4 p.m. They wanted to see if someone will actually stop him. I told you. It's that fucking stripper. Everybody's like, we realize it was a stripper. And then, you know, out in Alliance on Sunday at Kohl's, people were saying, yeah, right, they didn't know that uh, was Alex in a beard. Where we said, like on 9-18-19, seen that picture of that old retired judge. And I thought, you know, I seen him in the back joking around. Well, with uh, outside with Ludic and that. But I found out they were getting in the back telling people they were helping watch me. Because I'm an FBI informant. Okay. And I always said it looked like Alex. Hmm? The white haired guy with his hair part on the side. Dixie seen him. John seen him. Darlene seen him. Stalking me. Huh? They look like him with a beard. They're that close. Because it was him with a beard. The young men, the first month of the case, showed up at Walmart 62. All in disguises. You had to look at him like three times to realize they were not old men. Was Alex pretending to be a retired judge? Pete, nobody knew about that. They just hang up their pictures randomly. And Michelle, the stripper. Stripper. A fucking prostitute. A fucking stripper. Her serial rapist brother. Scamming people that she's his daughter and that's her brother. In a beard pretending to be a judge. Could you imagine that agent's face? Nobody's this fucking stupid. You walk into a federal police uh, office and you tell them that you're a retired judge and you're some guy in a beard and a wig. Huh? And that's supposed to be his daughter and it's some stripper hooker. And that's just her brother scamming that agent. And then they got another drug dealer pretending to be a doctor from Altman Hospital selling information. And some occult leader saying 15 years ago she was a faker. And then they have stocking tapes, fake sodium pentothal reports where they were drugging the hell out of me. Huh? And photoshopping and washing and stocking tapes by a stripper and her serial rapist brother running scams on people? You know, outside Coles, I go to leave with my client on Sunday. My car is bugged. I think it was Officer Mark off in the distance. got a hold of us. See, they left my file at the courthouse. Porter's County Prosecutor. Hmm. Well, I was talking to Abigail. They gave it to the lady officers. FBI informant. I went here for Karen around the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were talking yesterday in Mulligan's Pug that it's not funny. They told that courthouse she's an FBI informant. Well, they told everybody on told everybody. Okay, well, they dropped off my file. Okay. Years ago. Now, you think about that agent. There's some stupid stripper prostitute, her brother in a wig and a beard, 
some other drug dealers trying to say he's some doctor from Altman Hospital selling information. And some crazy occult leader saying she was a faker 15 years before. Then they tell people they have fake sodium pentothal reports they admitted to drugging me. And they were stalking me. Then later on laughing that it's a shower scene in the other room of Washington. Actually in 18 or 19, they admitted they photoshopped uh, me using a feminine wipey above the toilet after I got done in the bathroom in another room. That would make you look weird. You got to think erase the wipey. Just move the thing of you wiping after you're done. Go in the bathroom and use a feminine wipey. But they after, then later on they said it was a shower scene in Washington Photoshop. They can Photoshop heads, faces, scenery, words out of sentence, redo sentences. And then with all the roofies they were getting. Yeah, drugging me up and telling me to say stuff and I never talked to anybody. See, that's where I think it was Officer Mark outside calls. I get outside. They got a hold of us. Okay. We found out they were drugging her up so bad up there. That some guy with her ex-husband was letting some guy go over there and drug her and rape her. And she was drugged up so bad she didn't even know she was being raped or anything else that was going on up there. And we were told to all stay out of this. And they thought it was some retired judge and then they found out it's just some guy. And her ex-husband said he was letting that guy rape her because he was trying to prove to someone he didn't want her anymore and so he's letting that guy drug drug her up so bad she didn't know anything and that guy was going over there right her where i was covered in bruises throwing up heart racing almost passing out in a severe personal infection and i thought it was the well water because it was toxic eating my skin making me sick just washing in it and the bruises i almost thought i was getting cancer from it that or if that idiot is beating on me why am i not waking up and I had no idea what happened to me. And I'm going to Altman Family Physicians all summer long of 2018 for all the signs of being drug beaten right because I never talked to anybody. Nobody put it together. And the police found out right away Dave was letting that guy. And because they thought it was a retired judge, they were told to stay out of it. You know what? President Bill Clinton had an affair with Monica Lewinsky back in the day. The FBI made it public. They also investigated, made sure that it was consensual, and they made it public. Why? Because he's the president of the United States. She's an intern. Why? Because if he, they think he's abusing his authority, and she felt intimidated to give in to have sex with him, then that is considered rape, and he would go to jail. He was going to get impeached at one point, and she demanded that it was consensual between two adults. That's why he didn't go to jail. I want you to think about that. The President of the United States got investigated and was going to go to jail if that girl wouldn't have said it was consensual between them two. And I want you to think about that. Why would a retired judge, just because they thought some stripper and her brother are pulling the biggest scam in the world, that he's some retired judge nobody even remembers? I asked uh, Cecily Mullins about him. She's like, I don't know who that is. If his picture has been on the wall, it's been on there a long time. See, they told me that they talked to that family. They didn't know anything about this. It's because it's that Michelle, that stripper, it's her brother, Alex. And in disguise, they're scamming everybody. She's a retired judge's daughter. She's nothing but a fucking hooker. And her brother's a serial rapist. He was the one going over raping me. Huh? And he's the one impersonating Pete and his Alex. Like they said, they even need to go back. And the guy that followed her around her, they need to find out his purpose. You understand? It's that stripper and her brother pulling the biggest scam in the world. And the human traffickers use their scam so nobody would tell on them. Uh-huh. And so they got away with human trafficking and serial killing here. Oh, my ex is very much alive. He accepted a uh, offer on that house under contract. Well, I'll tell you what. He's about almost $3,000 behind in alimony. Uh, it hits federal charges at $5,000. Um, the one guy I'm seeing now, he has to pay alimony to his ex-wife. They told him if he was 30 days, it'd be a rest warrant. Uh-huh. 
and you lose your license, your passport, all that kind of crazy stuff. Until you pay all your back alimony. Uh, someone needs to arrest Dave for all his crimes. Walking in, and I told him about what they did. You know, he told me, same thing I said, nobody's a stuff and stupid. He said, you know, those agents and those drug uh, officers, he said, they got a way of acting like they're going along with those people to fool them so they get their drug dealers. And he said, because no agent would fall for that scam. A photoshopping on Wall Street and roofie confessions his wife had got roofied in a bar they had left their drinks went to the bathroom came back she started feeling dizzy after she took a drink it got her out of there she slept walked for two days didn't even remember anything well, i talked to him and everything that's where my neighbor mike got uh roofied and lost a whole night out sleep driving that's where dar was taken from a bar that's where i was losing four to six hours i've talked to the police and sheriffs about this and they do know about roofies and that you do sleepwalk under someone else's control and you can photoshop everything and like they said with them drugging her up that bad they could have even drugged me and told me to do that and then photoshopped it in stalking tapes where they said it's a feminine wipey above the toilet and then they said it was a shower scene and washing um done by a fucking prostitute and her brother scamming everybody i'm gonna upload this